Hello and thank you for tuning into the Mac Desk Floor Report for Thursday, February 9th. A day when we're processing a lot of news here on the floor, but not seeing a big point move in the major indices. This is a little surprising given the raft of headlines we've seen this morning. And we came into the pre-market on a hot, hot China CPI number for January, which showed an increase of 4.5%. Analysts by and large were looking for a 4% increase, uh, although the overage may have been due to some seasonality in that number. Now, just after 8 a.m., we saw a big pop higher in the euro. In fact, bringing the euro dollar uh, cross back above its 100-day moving average above the 133 level, uh, this on headlines out of the Financial Times that Greek politicians had reached an accord on austerity. Uh, this gave some support to the futures, and we were able to add to those gains at the bottom of the hour when the weekly U.S. jobless claims number came in a little better than expected. In fact, the four-week moving average for weekly jobless claims is at its lowest level in nearly four years now. But we slid back a little on comments from uh, ECB Chief Mario Draghi speaking at a press conference this morning after leaving the benchmark Eurozone interest rate steady at 1%. Draghi's assessment of the state of the European economy was a little bleak, uh, but not bleak enough to warrant additional policy accommodation, saying that the economic outlook remains subject to high uncertainty and downside risks, but that the Eurozone will likely to continue to recover very, very slowly over the course of the year. Now, the latest round of earnings here on U.S. shores have been generally very strong, although this isn't patching through to a lot of price movement on the major indices. We're selling a little bit on the news, and we're down actually 14 points in the Dow right now. Uh, the volatility index has crept up about 1% at 1833, and among the option movers we're watching today is ticker FXI, the FTSE China 25 Index Fund. This ETF has a strong sector allocation to Chinese financial companies and is trading a little lower, just below the $40 level today. Uh, implied volatility in the fund is at a six-month low right now, which means that options are relatively cheap to buy, and investors have been taking that as a cue to buy puts in the front month, April, and January 2013 contracts, looking for a retracement of around 10% by next January. Interestingly, FXI went into the final month of 2011 with a near even split between puts and calls, but 2012 has been all about the puts, with a near two to one overweighting of over open put positions compared to calls uh, developing just in that time frame. For additional market insights, be sure to check your inbox at 1 p.m. for the midday. For now, that's it for me, Rebecca Darst for the MacDesk Floor Report.